Okay. Uh, case number 20. Um, this looks like a granular parakeratosis. Great. You've got a little acanthosis, a thick layer of uh, a hyperkeratosis on top with parakeratosis in it. And this is also one that's a little hard to see on a scan, but the, the, the para has kind of a purplish look, and that's because it's got all these retained granules. The granules, the keratohyaline granules, are supposed to stop here, but instead they get caught up into the epidermis here, and the reason for this is a little debated and slash complicated, but basically uh, this is axillary granular parakeratosis, and it usually is in the axilla, but occasionally can occur in other sites of the body. So it's one of those things that until you notice the granules, you'll be like, what is this? And then you see the granules and you're like, ah, granular parakeratosis. Really cool.